Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Path of Exile and Legion is around the corner so they are going to release it I think in uh, two weeks from now and uh, it's going to be an overhaul uh, for the melee so you guys know for the guys that follow me for a long time uh, when I started my YouTube channel, I started to make builds for Path of Exile, but I always play Marauders. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys a little bit an overview of what my thoughts are about info that we already got. Because the patch notes, they still need to come, the full patch notes. But there is already some things that uh, I find very interesting and I'm going to share it with you guys. So, first of all... Uh, I'm going to talk about Berserker. I'm only going to talk about Berserker because I'm not going to talk about Legion. Because uh, at the end, uh, I'm not really interested in new leagues. Uh, a lot of people play it one, two weeks and then most of the time the leagues are very dead. But I'm going to talk about something that I want to do. So first of all, uh, they are going uh, to uh, do a couple of things with the melee. And that's very necessary because the melee was really... Yeah, bad in this game. You need to say it how it is. Uh, we had a little bit Tectonic Strike still. We had Blade Fury for a single target. Molten Strike wasn't that bad either. But then it stops. If you want to go with uh, Tectonic Slam to a boss, yeah, you were fucked because it took so long. And now they are going to overhaul it a little bit. So first of all, every... A melee attack is going to get a kind of melee splash. So if you hit one enemy, the enemies around it going to get damage too. I'm not really sure why that is needed because you got now uh, melee skills that do a lot of AOE damage, like Tectonic Slam, uh, like uh, Ground Slam, uh, but I think even more melee damage, uh, not melee damage, but AOE damage, it's not going to be bad, I think. So that's the first thing that they are going to do that I, that I think is interesting. There are a lot of more things, but I'm not going to say them all to you guys. Then the next one is auto attack. So now the main problem is that the most builds that are melee, they got, they got multi-strike. Why do we take multi-strike? Omdat multi-strike is going to hit more than one target automatically. Because the main problem is, if you don't have it and you go to a pack, most of the time you are going to get a couple of mobs that are not that and you need to come back, you're losing time. And at the end, this is just a grind dungeon uh, the whole time to get gear and, and to, to upgrade and all that stuff. So that was a big problem. Now, what you are going to get is you hit one enemy, even with a single melee damage, and automatically, if you got a second enemy behind you, is going to turn around turn around so automatically that's really cool so a very good feature too accuracy is not anymore kept at 95 percent i'm not sure why they ever kept it to be honest so now you can go to 100 percent same like resolute techniques but if you needed to go with resolute techniques you always uh, had lower damage because you cannot crit so that was the big problem so in the past, you are going to miss 5% of your hits. That's a lot, you know, if you if you play a game that is so fast as Path of Exile. Then next one, we are going to talk now about Berserker. So, uh, the first build that I made in this game was a Marauder Ground Slam. And then, when the Ascendancy classes came, I went always to a Berserker. But then they introduced Rage. And on that moment, it was done. I never understood why they did it. Because Rage, it was good, very good thinking, but it was very bad executed. So a Berserker is not a Juggernaut. So if you give a Berserker more DPS and then you're going to let his health going down, uh, yeah, most of the time it's not going to work. Because he's, he's getting really squeezy on that moment and he's going to die a lot. What I saw the last leak was that the, the, the Ascendancy class that nobody plays uh, was the Berserker. So now they are going uh, to make it better. So Rage is not going to consume any more HP if you use it. That's already very good. And then we go a little bit further. So what you are going to have now is that uh, they are going to give Ascendancy, uh, uh, overhauled Ascendancy class 2 of a Berserker. And you're going to get Berserk. So you can consume Rage and you're going to get more damage and you're going to get more healing and defense. That's really good because... 
there is still one big problem. It's all okay what they did now, but the main problem is, is the DPS going to be enough? That was the main problem. Uh, is the DPS and the defenses skills, because defenses was a very big problem on Berserker too. Therefore, everybody went to Juggernaut. You get the endurance charges for free, but with the Jugger, with, with the Berserker, it was very hard to get it because you always need to spam enduring cry the whole time but who is doing that in a fast game like this so i i like what they still need to do but you need to work on the defense of the berserker too another thing that i hope that they are going to implement is uh, that unwavering stance is closer to the starting area of the berserker uh, because now at the moment we always need to go with comes roots uh, because why would you go to the south? There is nothing in the south. It's it's the the position is very bad to be honest. Uh, the unwavering stance, and you need to have it. Every melee build need to have it. Otherwise, yeah, if you get stunned, you're dying. That's how it is. So I hope that they are going to work on that problem too. Uh, then what kind of skill am I going to play? I don't know yet. Uh, maybe I'm going back to the simple ground slam, but it all depends. I'm hoping that they are going to buff the skills too. I'm hoping that they are going to introduce some new melee skills too. Uh, like a little bit more uh, AOE or, or I don't know. I, I cannot think about it. Maybe cleave is good too. Uh, you can cancel now to your attack. Uh, so Cyclone is going to be a lot better, but I don't play Cyclone. For me, Cyclone is not a, sk a skill. Uh, I played in Diablo 3 Whirlwind the whole time, and what you do, you just click and you turn around. That's it. Uh, but I think a lot of people play it because it's very simple. You just turn around and there it stops. So a lot of things are going to happen. I'm very... Uh, yeah, curious uh, what is going to be in the patch notes. I hope that they are going to upgrade a couple of skills. And with skills, I mean that they buff it. All the other stuff looks really well. Uh, to give you guys an example, the boss fight is going to be a little bit easier. Because you can now dodge it. Everybody knows if you play melee, it's uh, you just need to jump the whole time around with Leap Slam. Or you just die the whole time. But now I saw a video and uh, you can just dodge. Uh, you see where the enemies are hitting, and that's a lot easier to play because it was not gameplay or skills that you need. No, most people, they just made a melee build that got a 10 million DPS, just one shot everything, or you went so defensive that it took 20 minutes. But I'm going to end the video, guys. That was a little bit my update, my thoughts of the Berserker. What is going to happen? I'm going to wait for the patch notes. And then for the release, or a couple of days after the release, I'm going uh, to uh, upload a build. I'm not sure what skill I'm, I'm going to use, but I think I'm going to play Rage Berserker. Because at the end, most of the time, if grinding gears put something new in the game, because they cannot balance their game, most of the time it's so overpowered that you just need to play it and... This is new, the Rage Berserker with new Ascendancy. Take it from me, it's going to be overpowered. So, it's going to be Rage Berserker, I think. So, thanks for watching, have fun, bye bye.